Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. How many of you guys are excited to be here today? I'm super excited. I'm super pumped. The Lord is doing something. And, and like, like my brother Leo said, we're all in, uh, in the right place today, right? This is the place to be. Sundays are for church. Praise God. And um, I want to thank God for my pastor and brother Stephen for the opportunity to, to be here, to be here preaching. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to open up your Bibles to the book of Exodus, chapter 3. Exodus, chapter 3, and it's the first six verses. I know, that sounds like a lot. We'll get through it quick. All right. Say amen when you have it, please. Amen. Okay, cool. So it says this, Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he fled the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Verse five, do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. God gave me a word for you today that I have called, sanctify me. Can you guys say that with me? Say, sanctify me. Sanctify. Praise God. Who needs to be sanctified in here? Amen? Amen? Who needs to be sanctified in here? Amen? Amen? All right, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we come before you today giving you all the honor and all the glory. First and foremost, Lord Jesus, you are the utmost high, Lord Jesus. We are here to worship you, Lord Jesus, to fall at your feet, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord Jesus, that this congregation would be receiving, Lord Jesus, of your word today, Lord. That they would be recipient, Lord Jesus, of what you have to say to them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit in this place, Lord Jesus, every distraction, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We are here, Lord Jesus, to get more of you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You may take your seats. So. I'm sorry, I'm going to ask that you guys turn down this mic a little bit, please. It's just a little loud. Thank you so much. So I'm going to give some context to, uh, to what's happening here in Exodus chapter 1. Um, I'm sure you've all heard the story, right? The story of the burning bush, popular story, but I feel the need to give context. Um, we see that Moses was tending the flock, right? He was a shepherd. Um, he was tending his, his father-in-law's flock. So imagine a guy with his sheep, right? And then he looks over and a bush is on fire, right? So, but the bush is not burning up, right? We, we can't understand what that's like because we've never seen something burn but not be consumed. Okay? So, in verse 3 it says, So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight. Remember that. See this strange sight. So it was strange to Moses, right? And then later, Moses approached the bush, um, and God asked him to take off his sandals because it's holy ground. Yeah. Uh, so I'm speaking today on, on sanctification. Uh, but what does that mean? Sanctification is the action of making or declaring something holy. Okay? Yeah. The action or process of being freed from sin or purified. And I like this one a lot. Sanctification means being set apart. All right, sanctification means being set apart, okay? So what you might not have realized is that Moses approached the bush, and, and as he grew closer to God, as he went closer to the bush, bush representing God, he was starting to become sanctified, okay? As he goes closer to this bush, he is in the process of sanctification. Yeah. Yeah. How do we know that? Because he took off his sandals. Yeah. Okay, he took off his sandals. So there's one vital thing 
we need to realize about sanctification. It is God who does the sanctifying. God is the one who cleanses, right? God is the one who is taking the sin away, right? But he can only do that if we let him. Right, right. He can only do that if we are cooperative with him. We need to cooperate with God, amen? 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, it says, To the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus. Okay? So Paul is showing that only God can sanctify us right here. But we have to be willing to receive the change. We have to be willing to make a change in our lives. Amen. We must be willing to take off our sandals. So, how many of you are willing to be sanctified? Amen? Amen. Say amen with me. How many of you are willing to be amen. sanctified today? Amen? amen? So when Moses takes off his sandals, he becomes obedient, right? He's doing it in an act of obedience, and he is able to get closer to God by taking off his sandals. And I began to question, God, what does this mean, you know? Why, why his sandals? Why did he have to take them off? Why, you know? And, and he spoke to me and he said, sandals and shoes are evidence of how you were once walking. Your shoes that you're wearing right now are evidence of where you were. Right. Yeah. Okay? Your sandals, your shoes are filthy from whatever you've been walking in. Yeah. All right? If you come in here and you just step in dog poop, everybody's going to know, you know? <laughs> That's, that's what shoes are, right? Shoes are dirty. No wonder God asked him to, to, to take them off, right? So there's a calling. God is calling us today, church, to walk a little different, okay? God is calling us to walk a little different. He's telling us to stop walking in the same places that we've been walking. God. To change our path a little bit more, amen? Stop going to that place. I know, I know someone is receiving this. Stop going to that place. Amen. Stop watching those videos, guys. Right, right. Stop watching those movies. Right. Stop yeah. listening to that music. Right. Amen? Amen? Turn off the TV sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Church, sometimes we need to walk a little different. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter how they're living. It doesn't matter that they're comfortable. We need to walk a little different. We need to turn off the TV sometimes. We need to spend more time with God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah, yes. There is, there is another part that God, that God showed me about his sandals. Okay? I was thinking about, about the sandals, and I'm like, well, it's, it's just an object. you know. They don't contain the sin. The object itself is not sinful. They're used to help them walk, right? It's not a direct sin. But then God showed me something I didn't want to realize. He showed me something I didn't want to admit. He showed Moses something Moses didn't want to realize. Well, there's a little dirt in those shoes. Well, there's some dirt from where you've been walking. It's not acceptable here. Because that ground was holy. Amen? Wait a second. There's, there's a trace of sin there. Not even sin itself, but a trace of sin. Wow. Those are two different things. God showed him, wait a second. I think God is telling us something today. That we have something on us. We have something on our shoes. We have something that we're wearing. Wait a second. You need to get that shame off of you. Yeah. Wait a second. You got to take that pride out of you. Yeah, that's it. Wait a second, before you come in here, that anchor that you've been holding on to, it needs to leave. Yeah, right. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Someone in here is going to be changed today, amen? Can someone praise God today? Yeah. Someone's getting their joy back today, amen? Someone is going to start running in here. Praise God. God is taking it off of you. I believe that today, that God is going to be wiping shame off of us today. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. God is going to be taking out that anger, taking out that pride. Praise God. We just have to believe. Yes. So his sandals were dirty. Yes, they were dirty, but they were not sinful. 
this phone, it might not be the sin to have a phone, right? Yeah. It's not sinful having a phone. Right. But what does it lead to? Wow. Yeah. What is it access? Yeah. Yeah. These devices that we that we hold so precious, yeah. or maybe not, maybe you're always packing your screens. <laughs> but they're not the sin, but they can lead to the sin. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah. His sandals. Right? They weren't sin walking in the sandals. But they allowed him to go to where the sin was. Okay? And, and I started to think about that. That Moses' sandals were not directly sin, but they were evidence of the sin. They were evidence of his past sins. And they were an opening to that. Sometimes we like to linger and hold on to things that are an opening of how we used to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we're changed, we like to hold on to something yeah. that still ties us to, to how we used to be. But God is telling us to take that off today. Yes. God is telling us to put those away today yes. because we're on holy ground. Yes. Hallelujah. If you don't think objects can hold power, you need to read the Bible. Yeah. But our televisions, they might not be evil, right? but they give access to the sin. And somehow, Christians have allowed the devil to lie to them and say, well, you're not doing the sin. You can just watch it. Well, you're not having sex with them. You can just watch the sex. Well, you're not murdering that person. You can just watch them be murdered. Somehow, the devil has tricked us into believing that these evil things are okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not the one sitting. I'll just watch this. Thing. I'll just sit down here and almost appreciate the sin. Appreciate the evil. Yeah. Do we want to be appreciative of the evil today? No. I hope not. I hope not, somebody. You're not the one fornicating in the movie. But you can watch them fornicate. You're not doing drugs like they are in that movie, in that show. But you can watch them get high. And that might sound extreme a little. That might sound a little extreme. Well, Caleb, I can't watch any movies then. Praise God! <laughs> Praise God! Caleb, I can't do anything then. Praise God! You don't want to participate in evil? Praise God! Amen. We are called to live extreme lives as Christians. Yes, right. We are called <laughs> to suffer for Jesus. Amen? Yes, because he suffered for us. Amen? I want to live an extreme life with Jesus today. Amen? I want to live yes. a life that Jesus yes. deserves. Yes. Yes. And I can't give him what he deserves because he's almighty. Yes. But I can try. Yes. And I want to try at least. Yes. I want to try at least. Amen? Yes. So turn off that portal. Because yes. those things are a portal to yes. a different dimension. Amen? Yes. Yes. And, and what we see is that that's why we have to be sanctified. Oh, yeah. Because we have access to all these things, amen? We have access to all the sin. So we need to be sanctified before we go on to our phone. Wow. It's there, I know. I lived that life for four years. It's there. Yeah. Before we get on it, we have to be ready to battle, amen? Yes. You have to be ready for the battle that the devil has for you, yes. amen? That's why we have to be sanctified. Yeah. And the thing is, we have to listen to God. We have to listen to the Spirit. Yeah. Because sometimes it says something. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be watching this. Yeah. That's not you. Your flesh would say, watch more. That's the Spirit telling you. Right. You know what? This isn't good for your soul. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? If you keep on going down this path, you're going to end up chained and binded. Yes. Yes. And sometimes we ignore it. Wow. But I'm telling you today, church, to listen. So when Moses approached the bush, when he started to get closer to God, God had to tell him, do not come any closer. Take off your sandals. Okay? When it's, when it's God speaking, I'm going to speak in a little bit more powerful voice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> do not come any closer. Take off your sandals. Um, and when we start to become closer to God and embrace him, we have to make sure we're listening and that we're obedient. Okay? If you're going to distance yourself from God, then that doesn't matter. 
But if you're trying to get closer to God, make sure your ears are open. If you're trying to get closer to God, make sure you are willing to obey what He tells you. If someone, if you felt a feeling, maybe I shouldn't be watching this, that's God telling you something right there, church. If you're trying to get there, you need to be obedient and listen. And I believe that that is called conviction. Amen. Amen. I love conviction. Amen. Not all the time, but I love it. Yes. And you will begin to be convicted. This music doesn't glorify God. Maybe I should start finding something else to listen to. That's right. Yes. 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 <laughs> I get exposed to pornography constantly because of this show. Maybe I should turn it off. Wow. Some some shows like to disguise themselves as a show, but it's actually just porn. Okay, guys? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you that right now. You guys are watching porn called something else. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're watching. But it's going to tell you, you know what? These friends that I'm always sitting with, and whenever I join them, I, I, find, I find some new way to sin. I find that they're always sinning, and I, I'm always tempted to fall in with them. You need to get yourself some new friends. Yeah. You need to get yourself some friends that are trying to get closer to God, too. God. Amen? And I've been convicted many times. I thank God for that. I thank God for that, for allowing Him to change me. And I, I went from watching every show that was on Netflix. I tried to watch everything, every movie, no matter the content, no matter the rating. Even PG-13 movies are bad, but to, I, I went from that to the point of watching almost nothing, because I couldn't. We can't sometimes. It's just that filthy, guys. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The world is that filthy. Yeah. And we like to be entertained, wow. but how about we get entertained by God? Wow. We like to seek something comfortable and watch something. How about we get comfortable with God? Yes. Amen? Yes. Praise God. And I want, I want to talk to you about that thing that Moses said, that strange bush. So God was within this bush, right? And it was on fire. And Moses, he thought, I would go over and see this strange sight. That's what the Bible says. He said this strange sight. Why strange? Remember, he was distant from God when he saw that. Yeah, yeah. It's because when we're distant from God, we start to think that the things that are holy are strange. Wow, wow. Yeah, when we're not with God and we see someone that is, that person's a little weird. Wow. <laughs> when we're a little far away from God and we see an act of God, Oh, right? Yeah. And when we're not close to God, we think that holiness is strange. We start to think that purity is weird. Wow. You're going to save yourself for marriage? <laughs> wow. We start to think that sanctification doesn't make sense. Yeah. Taking the sin out of you? I love it. We start to think all these things about, about holiness. Yeah. When someone comes in here screaming, they might think, how strange. They're screaming in church, right? Yeah. I know, I know that, that some Catholics might come in here and they might be like, whoa, I've never seen this before. It might be strange. It's, it's going to be strange to these people. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter how strange it might seem. Yeah. It doesn't matter how strange it might seem. It doesn't matter how weird you might look to them. Praise God, I want to look weird to them. Praise God, I want to stand apart a little bit. Praise God, I want to be set aside a little bit. Praise God, I don't care what they think of me. Praise God, I want to get a hold of God today. Praise God, I want to be more like God today. Hallelujah. Could someone jump with me today? Could someone act a little weird for God? Hallelujah. Could someone say, I want to be more like God today? I want to get a hold of God. It doesn't matter what you say about me. I'm weird and I'm proud because I'm close to God. Hallelujah. I feel like jumping around here today because I'm weird. I'm weird. I'll admit it. You might think I'm weird. I say, praise God. Hallelujah. I want to be a little more like God. Oh, I wish that we could get loud and hear for God. Hallelujah. 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 Can someone say hallelujah? Can someone lift them up today? Hallelujah. Can someone worship you today? With everything that you have, can someone be willing to get weird? Hallelujah. Can someone clap you today? If you're free, then be free. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Oh, somebody. We need a change today. We need a change today. I don't care how long you've been Christian, there's more work to do. I don't care how close you think you are to God, there's more work to do. I don't care how long you've been serving Him, you can still be 
a little bit more sanctified. Amen? Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. God. Why? Because the sanctification is worth it. Amen. Praising God is worth it. Yes. Yes. The ties that we're giving up, the ties to that person, the ties to that sin, that's not worth anything, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's worth eternal death and hell. Those things that give us our momentary satisfaction, right? Like Esau when he right. drank that bowl, that momentary satisfaction, exactly. it pales in comparison to the joy of the Lord. Yeah. It pales in comparison yeah. Yeah. to the joy of the Lord. Yeah. Somebody have joy in you today? Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And guess what? It pales especially in comparison to eternal life. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even fathom eternal life, guys. I can't even... Yeah. What? Forever? And it's just going to be amazing and yeah. no sin and no evil? Thank really? Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Really? Is heaven going to be that amazing? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, heaven is going to be that amazing. Yeah. And when Christians go through all this pain and suffering and they start realizing, man, this life is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Heaven is worth that. Yeah. Heaven is worth it, young one. Yeah. Heaven is worth it, somebody. When you start feeling that pain, praise God. When you start feeling a little suffering, praise God. Because you're going to get to heaven, amen? <laughs> because you're going to get to heaven. I don't deserve heaven. But I'm thankful to the Lord for the opportunity. I don't deserve eternal life. But I'm thankful to the Lord for the chance. For the chance to be there. Hallelujah. You guys need to realize that the changes that we make, that the sacrifices that we make, that they're worth it. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We need to change today. We need to be more sanctified today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be. We need to be ready to be sanctified. Yes. So we need to ask ourselves this question. Yes. What can get me wow. to be more sanctified? Yeah, yeah. That's good. What have I been holding on to? Wow. What sins have I been looking for instead yes. of God? Yes. Wow. yes. What movies have I been watching yeah, yeah, yeah. that have changed my mindset? Yeah. Oof. Oof. How many of you guys know that movies can change your mind? Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. People come out of a good movie crying. They don't come out of church crying. Wow. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> People come out of watching a good show. Oh, my gosh. That was life-changing. <laughs> How about God? Is God life-changing? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, those video games that you've been playing, oh, my gosh, 24 hours a day. <sighs> Spend one of those hours with God. Wow, wow, we need to get a little bit more sanctified in this place. Amen. And you might be a little offended. What? Did he say that up there? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's conviction. Wow. Praise God for conviction, somebody. <laughs> Praise God for conviction. Without conviction, I don't know where I'd be. Without conviction, I'd still be addicted to pornography. Without addiction, I'd still be hanging out with those same friends. Without conviction, I wouldn't be in this place. Without conviction, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. But I wouldn't be serving God. But praise God because I have joy. But praise God because I'm here with you all. But praise God because I got a little chunk to me. Praise God because I'm able to worship. Hallelujah. We need to have some freedom in here today. If you don't got freedom, you got to be convicted. Yeah. If you don't got freedom, you got to feel that conviction and embrace that change. Praise God, somebody. I know somebody's being spoken to today because I am. I know somebody's feeling a change today because I am. But this message is more for me than it is for any of you. Amen? Amen. This message is speaking to me. Praise God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys to stand with me today as I finish off this message. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Exodus 3, verse 6, it says, Then he said, 
I am the God of your father. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid. Everybody say, Moses hid. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. And this is the final part in the process of sanctification. Right? Moses saw the bush, approached the bush, made a change. God spoke to him, and he was afraid. Yeah. yeah. We need to become more fearful of God. Yes. 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 Praise God. Yes. We become more fearful of God yeah. when we start sanctifying. Yes. yes. I'm not talking about being scared of something. I'm talking about having extreme reverence. Amen, yes. Brother Leo. Yes. Extreme reverence of the things of God. See, when we start to sanctify, we receive a greater realization of who he is. Hallelujah, yes. When we sanctify ourselves, we start to picture just a little bit more. Wow, he is the God Almighty. Yes. Yes. And when we begin to approach him and his temple, we now come in with reverence. Yes. With respect. Yes. Um, take that gun out. Um, wear a different clothes. Uh, hold on, I'm going to change my ways. Oh, hold on, I'm going to look a little different. Because it's God that I'm approaching. Yes. Because it's God that I'm approaching. Oh, yeah. It is He, the Most yeah. High, that I'm coming to. God and ourselves, we start to become afraid. Wow. Fearful of God. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Praise God. 